This presentation is brought to you by the Beljanski Foundation. Over 50 years of research towards curing cancer the natural way. Before I begin, does everyone here know what a telomere is? Anyone who doesn't? Fantastic. <laughs> These are the three scientists who won the Nobel Prizes for uncovering telomeres, what makes them shrink, what makes them grow, and why women live longer than men on an average of five years. Also, what we can do about maybe changing those statistics. That's a Nobel Prize that the three scientists shared, and they're still working on this subject involving now animals, uh, horses, in particular, because racehorses are extremely important for those who raise them. They want to keep them alive as long as possible. So, what the hell is a telomere? At the end of every DNA helix are telomeres. What a telomere basically is, is like a shoelace cap. Stops the shoelace from unhinging and breaking down. It does the same thing with your DNA helix. However, a little bit different. You can see how complex a, a cell is. And the only cell that does not have telomeres is a red blood cell. The white blood cell, however, is very important because we're able to measure telomeres from the white blood cell. You can see the helix, the end of the helix, are those caps called telomeres. Usually the optimum age of a human is when we reach 25 years old. It's at its maximum. That just starts degrading from that point on. Uh, we usually experience cell division in our body 60 times in our normal lifetime. So if you're 75 years old, when you expire, every one and a half years, your cells divide and your telomeres keep shrinking. The question is, why do they shrink? Okay. When they reach the point on the bottom, it's called senescence, similar to senility. The cells just can't function anymore or apoptosis, where the cells just die. They found out that the scientists discovered there's an enzyme called telomerase. And that's what keeps telomeres from shrinking. The more telomerase you can generate, the less shrinkage of your telomeres. Therefore, in theory, the longer you're going to live. Um, telomeres are stretches of the DNA which protect our genetic data, making it possible cells to divide, and therefore hold some of the secrets as we age. And as I said, like the tips of your shoelaces, they keep the chromosomes from fraying and sticking to one another. Now, for some reason, women generate more telomerase than men. There are products on the market, including some that we sell, that can offset those statistics. Because after 25, let's say after 50 years old, when our telomeres really start degrading, men's degrade a lot faster than women. So we have product that addresses it for men, product that addresses it for women, product that addresses it for dogs and cats, and one that also does for horses. As I mentioned, each time the cell divides, it gets shorter. When it can't divide anymore, senescence or apoptosis. Cells die, the body dies. Now, the longer in theory, the healthier the cell. So clearly, 
size in this case matters. How can we increase telomere length? Well, these three scientists discovered in the plant, the astragalus root, there are six different isomers. But only the number four, which is the least in quantity, is the one that works. The other five are useless. So products that say I have astragalus or astragalocytes in them, and it's going to increase your telomeres, unless it's the number four. Not going to work. Also, there's some serious patents involved with a company called Geron. They were the first ones to make this public through Senegenics physicians. They charged some rather hefty prices, but they were the first ones and they have a number of patents. So what we had to do when we came out with a competitive product was to manufacture it completely different so it didn't violate any patents. You can't patent a natural substance, but you can patent isolation procedures. And that's what Geron did. So we now know that astragalocyte 4 is the primary active ingredient that has the anti-aging properties. Geron also synthesized a compound called cycloastragalocyte. All it is is a hydrated form of astragalocyte 4. But they got a patent on it. You probably challenge it if you want to spend a few million dollars fighting them. But why do it? All it is is a hydrated form. So they have to add about another 15% to bring the activity levels up. Now, our product is called Telomore. It's a registered product with the U.S. Patent Office, and it's the only commercial natural astragalocyte 4 that doesn't violate anybody's patents. That's a copy of the male version of it. I also have less active form. that a woman can take. It's half the price. We also make it at half that price for dogs and cats. And you can actually extend the lifetime of many dogs and cats. As an example, a Great Dane normally only lives about 10 years. In tests that we did in India, we got it up to 15 years. That's a 50% increase in lifetime. We were, humans taking it may get a 5 to 10% increase in longevity. Nope, wrong one. I went back. This just describes how our company uh, has produced this. And these are some of the other products that we uh, manufacture. Kind of runs the gauntlet from that product yuck that you see there that stops you from biting your or chewing on your nails to uh, expunge and plaque out, which reduced plaque, amyloid plaque in people. Uh, if you want to stop by a booth, our people would be glad to discuss any of our products with you. All right. What else does telomere benefit? Uh, that lady there is 94 years old, exercises, and she's been using our product for about five years. Of course, she watches her diet. So, exercise, good. Stress, something that's not so good. Growing old is inevitable. Uh, growing up is optional. And uh, I thank you for listening. If there are any questions I can answer in the meantime, I'd be glad to try. Yes. Would not affect it. But one thing we do caution you. Do you know which cell has the biggest 
or the largest telomeres. Cancer cells. So before a cancer patient would use this, we recommend they check with their oncologist, make sure it's not a problem. Normally, I think maybe one oncologist I've spoken to said, don't take it because we're trying to kill the telomeres. So well, at least in the cancer cell. Yeah. What was the effect you said on their lower plaque? That's a different product. We have another product called Plaque Out. And when is that done, if you take it, it reduces amyloid plaque by about 20% when tested in Israel and India. When we tested it in Russia, we got 40%. Why? Because the Russians take it with vodka, and it's all soluble in the ingredients, goes through the blood-brain barrier, makes its way to the plaque. Amyloid plaque is one of the major either causes or effect of Alzheimer's. So if you have it in your family, it's a good product to use as a preventive and treatment. Yes, but what is plaque that goes to the brain? Yes, it's plaque that develops in the brain. And you want to get rid of that plaque if possible. Are neurologists accepting of that or are they are not familiar with the product? No, the product has just come out. We were trying to get the government to flex a little bit by letting us mention, why don't you enhance the property of it by taking it with wine, beer, it's under bureau alcohol, tobacco, and firearms, and you can't deal with the bureaucrats. Don't even try. Yes. No, you should check first with your oncologist and say, look, I want to take this. I've been told it's not a problem, but I want your blessing before I take it. Because what they're trying to do is kill the telomeres in the cancer cells. Okay? Yes? The cancer cell is so large in the telomere, so far nobody has seen it shrink. The only way it shrinks is through chemotherapy by killing the cell. Now, okay. Welcome.